Guaguan bread bins, San Francisco done. We're on our way to Mount Shasta. Let's go. My name is Ben Chapman. I got into cycling when I was eight. My most favorite thing in the world was jumping on a train and just get off and then go ride in that area. It's just the freedom of having a bike and to go anywhere you want. So it's day 11 and we've just turned up at Mount Shasta. But since the last video, what have you missed? Well, first of all, we rode with the vegan cyclist, Roll VT. Tyler, you live in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Thank you very much for showing us around, brother. For the last two days, me and Tom have been in San Francisco. My legs haven't been at their optimum performance. But yesterday, Tom took me up Mount Tam. So winding our way up Mount Tam, we are 20 miles in, 2,100 feet of elevation. And it's getting warm. We've only got half a day today because we've got an excursion booked but I'll show you that later. This trip just keeps on giving. in San Francisco we treated ourselves to a quick trip around Alcatraz. I was actually meant to go to Alcatraz for my 40th birthday and it never happened. So that was pretty special for me. So that's the best bits from the last two days. We have now, as mentioned, landed in Mount Shasta. 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 So now you're all caught up. We've just done a five hour journey and made our way to a place called Mount Shasta. This is where we're staying. It's quite unique. I'll let Tom explain. We are staying in a place called Cave Springs in a small town called Dunsmere. And I think we're one of about 10 people in this town right now, to be honest. So with the mountain to our right, we are on 10 miles and nearly 2,000 feet of climbing. And if I'm honest, if this place wasn't so beautiful, I'd just go back to the lodge and lay on my bed. <laughs> I'm done in. Some cheeky little swine left a comment on Tom's uh, YouTube video about two days ago saying, taxi for Ben. <laughs> well, actually, I was all right then. But if you want to send it now, <laughs> then go ahead. There's a lot of unsolicited comments about the music, about how long they are. Rant over. <laughs> four and a half thousand feet of climbing, 18 miles. I think we've got about four miles left. Then the descent. Oh. 
sometimes referred to as Dwayne Johnson's play area. So just before my battery goes dead, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Team Cycles and Pillar for allowing me to experience things like this. I've only got 3% battery left, so if you want to see the descent, head on over to Tom's channel, because he'll have it on the 360 cam. See everyone back at the cabin. So it is now the following morning. It was an absolute mad rush last night to get back before darkness. And me and Tom went out for a beautiful Mexican. We was only spending one night here, so today we're off to our next destination. So it's time to get packed up and hit the road. So with a five hour drive, we have landed in Portland and it's a casual affair, as you can see. And we're heading for a, a very small volcano, I think. Should be a good one. Less than a mile away from our Airbnb property, we've come to a park, which is also a volcano, which is called Mount Tabor. If anyone knows a little bit more about Mount Tabor, then drop them in the comments. But it's very warm, and as always, I'm gonna catch up with young Tom. So after two weeks on the road, Portland is our final location. In two days time, I'll be flying back to the UK. We've got a pretty big ride planned for tomorrow. And then Tom is staying on to see some friends. I think the plan tonight is to get some food, get our heads down, and then wake up tomorrow and see what Portland has to offer. I've had an absolute amazing time. And a lot of it has pushed me out of my comfort zone. So for now, we're gonna grab some food. I'll catch up with everyone back at the apartment. So a quick 20 miles and we're back at our accommodation. So tomorrow, unfortunately, is my last day on this trip and Portland is where the American adventure ends. San Diego, LA, Malibu, Yosemite National Park, San Francisco, Portland. Two weeks on the road, you learn an awful lot about yourself and what you're capable of. I have climbed some of the best climbs in California and descended some of the best descents. It's been absolutely fantastic to travel the West Coast with Tom. People have been asking what my best ride was for this trip and it was definitely Malibu. We hooked up with a group ride um, organized by one of the guys from MapCC and yeah, that ride was absolutely fantastic. It was a bit of a rush because we had a long drive afterwards, but it was definitely worth it. I couldn't finish this without mentioning Team Cycles and Pillar. Without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible, so thank you very much for supporting this trip. I am actually off on holiday next week and really looking forward to not doing anything on bikes for a while. So give me two weeks and then normal YouTube viewing will commence. Thank you to everyone that's followed along this far. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone next time.